Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, it's interesting because I, when I look at all the comments about Recall and about Copilot and about Windows, and um, one thing that is easy to see is that there's definitely, uh, and I'll call it the rise of the paranoid user. There's a lot of paranoid users out there that are just, you know, completely out of whack. Uh, it's obvious. And it's interesting because you could see the users that will actually, um, you know, use a phrase or use something I said to kind of say, well, you know, you're defending Microsoft and so on. And nowhere am I defending Microsoft about anything. Actually, I'm ranting constantly at Microsoft for all sorts of things. And... You know, you, you kind of wonder, we're, we're living in this age right now of the paranoia is getting really, really out there. Um, it's always been, but it's worse than ever. And it's showing through, you know, uh, features in computers and so on. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's really interesting to see how, you know, different companies and different features will raise hell and have, you know, I get these, I'll go look at this video or this other guy or so on and so on. You know, half of the videos that people have asked me to go see, I did not because I already know these guys on YouTube and they are paranoid to the bone forever. Uh, and this is one of the reasons I stay away from these channels. And, uh, you know, it's also part of the reason why Microsoft needs to change it's a um, way of doing things. It's very interesting to see that nobody paranoids about, you know, well, if you got an Android phone in your pocket and you're going everywhere, I'm going to tell you, you should be a lot more scared of that than a recall feature. I can tell you that. Uh, your phone literally not just spies on you, but follows you everywhere. So if you have an Android phone, I can tell you, uh, you don't even, you shouldn't even comment about a feature like Recall. Um, and people see only what they want to see. Uh, it's interesting. So it's like, oh well, you know, Recall is running on my machine, and it's like, yeah, there's a thing called Recall. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't send any data. It doesn't. It's just there, probably for some basic features eventually. And who cares? Did you care about Cortana? There was a little bit of backlash with Cortana back in Windows 10 days, but not not more. Yet Cortana is actually more, um, you know, privacy more of a privacy problem than than Recall is because Recall is on your PC and stays on your PC and does things on your PC using AI on your PC, where Cortana was constantly sending everything, every request, everything you want to do to Microsoft servers. Yet, recall, oh, no, that's so bad. Yeah, what's bad about it? Nobody nobody explains it. And nobody has proof of anything they're mentioning. That's the other thing also. Um, but that rise in paranoia has to do with a lot of faux pas, of bad decisions of companies, uh, in part. Uh, there's always been that basic paranoia computer user. I've seen it as a tech guy also, but now it's worse and people tend to forget that, you know, uh, if you want to use a PC, you got to, there's a fine line. We talk it all the time. Everything that you use, the internet, oh, there's a fine line. You're walking on a, a wire and it's difficult to do things without giving a little bit, you know, uh, a great example of that is people the majority of people enjoy Google search. And of course, all the paranoid people out there is like, oh, well, you don't use that. Uh, the majority of people are using Google search and they don't care. And it's fine like that. I'm not saying that it's right, all the things they do. But once again, where you get paranoid? When you see Google and an article that did this or that without telling us. Um, Microsoft doing stupid things all the time and never explaining well what they do. Uh, well, all of that, you know, adds and 
the paranoid people are the ones that are most vocal. They're all the ones commenting. And, um, you know, the people that don't care are all the ones that are quiet, which is a big majority, by the way. Um, you know, there needs to be changes, yes, because there needs to be guidelines as to all sorts of things. On the Internet, the tracking has gone out of control. There needs to be guidelines that would force web, webs, websites to follow rules, which right now there's pretty much none. Um, and that's where, you know, another thing happens is like, you know, ad blockers appear, then you have tracking, prevent tracking in browsers and stuff like that. Why? Because um, there's an abuse in many cases of different features and different things. And um, it gets to the point where some, you know, researcher, some security researcher or some privacy advocate will say, well, you know, I think now we're going, well, it's, it's too much. We gotta, we gotta do something about it. And absolutely, there are a lot of things we gotta do something about, and um, inc including the privacy on your PC and so on. But there will always be this: you've got to give a little of your privacy in order to use something, and that is for most features. You know, I am happy and very proud to have a Microsoft account. All the paranoid people out there was like, yeah, of course you give all your personal details. I don't care. Microsoft has, you know, I'm, there was a lot of comments today about that too. It's like, you think Microsoft cares about your data? It doesn't care about it. There's so much more that they're doing and so much other things that are much more important than your petty little boring data on your PC. And, you know, the only thing that they like and I hate is they want to use what they could see as data for ad purposes to make money with ads. The rest, no, they're not spying on you. They don't care. Um, you know, when I see people saying, well, you know, you're, you're ignorant or you're, you know, it's like, no, I'm not. It's a fact, okay? If there was a lot of spying and a lot of problems with that, we would all know about it. Everything, everything that happens, we know about it. And there are security researchers and privacy advocates that are constantly monitoring everything. So, you know, to, you get to a point where you got to just, uh, you know, accept that, well, you know what, I got no problem giving part of my privacy in return for a Microsoft account. And I'm very happy that I can go on all of my PCs and the file that I saved on PC number one is available on PC number four immediately without having to do anything. Why? Because... I sync my data and my settings using the Microsoft account, which is great. It does a great service. And recall is that. For a lot of people, you know, recall is, well, you know, what, what, what use could it be? It's extremely useful. When you look at the demonstrations that they made with it, it is amazing. You could literally, uh, if you have a snapshot of, say, a picture that you opened in, you know, the photo app and you forgot, you know, where it is or you forgot when or what. Well, you just, you know, you will be able to just ask it, um, you know, um, can you find a picture of a flower that I opened three weeks ago? And it's going to show you the picture, even if you don't know the name, as long as you just give it a brief description. These are powerful features and amazing features. And these are features that are useful for enterprise. Once again, you know, uh, when I see people paranoid, and, and a lot of the YouTube channels out there that are paranoid totally to the bone, uh, I'm not there. I'm a, you know, and level-headed in the middle. I know there are problems and there are things that need to be fixed. And Microsoft doesn't always play, you know, good guy. Mostly, they are very, very um, problematic in communication, and that is the biggest flaw of Microsoft, unable to communicate. But that's the rise of the paranoia. It comes with all of that together. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.